We are headed back to homeschool, back to chillier days, back to pumpkin desserts and cozy sweaters. Who doesn't love the season of fall? We start coming back indoors more after a long season of hot summer days, and it's time to get back into the swing of things with homeschool and a more structured routine. However, sometimes for me, this season can bring with it a sense of anxiety. After a season of very open and laid back days of summer, my heart can start to panic over the blank spaces on the calendar filling up quickly. With my children becoming teenagers and time seeming to fly by faster than ever, I become aware of the changes that I need to make. The more we pack into our days, coincidentally, the less free time we have. We're usually tuned to saying quality over quantity, but with time, we only get so much. And to quantify the fleeting time I have left in my homeschooling days with my kids is my goal. More time to invite a friend over for coffee, more time to hop in the car with the kids and go visit grandma, more time for lingering after dinner, more time for delicious food. In our hurried and harried culture of busyness and with burying ourselves in our screens, we've left some of our connection behind, but I don't think it has to be gone forever. I firmly believe that with some pure intentionality in our schedules and what we fill into the slots on our calendars, we can create more space and more time for that coffee with a friend, that visit to grandma's, that delicious dinner. In this issue of Learning Well Journal, our aim is to help you be more intentional with your time this season and to be able to find time to invite that lonely friend over and to slow down. We've learned now more than ever that we need our Christian friends. These relationships are worth being nurtured. You'll learn some excellent tips from Regina on how to keep your home guest ready every day of the week. And if you need some hostess approved recipes to serve, Liz has you covered. Find out more at learningwellcommunity.com slash magazine.